What are the big differences between the Invisible Fence GPS and the PetSafe Guardian Plus tracking collar? And which collar is gonna let your pup run around off leash by themselves, but give you the peace of mind knowing they're protected from going anywhere dangerous? Well, my team tested both collars in action. Does the PetSafe Guardian with tracking edge out the Invisible Fence GPS? Or does the Invisible Fence brand shut out the competition? Let's dive in. Real quick, I've added some links into the video description, which while helping keep our content up and running, gives you exclusive discounts on both products. So whichever one you prefer, you can save some money. Hope that's just as helpful as our review coming up here. So both of these collars say that they're the most accurate in GPS fencing. And to be sure, there's lots of techie details that set them apart from each other. But rather than get bogged down in the technical weeds, I'm just gonna focus on the big basics and what you pup owners get out of each one. And I'm gonna start with the most basic comparison of all, the price. The Invisible Fence will set you back about 600 bucks with a required annual subscription of about $100 a year. And your entire first year is free. But please remember from year two on, there are no monthly options. You have to opt in for the entire year at a time. The PetSafe Guardian Plus tracking collar is currently running for about a hundred bucks less at $500 and has a monthly membership price of around $10. So roughly $120 annually. You'll get your first month's membership free. Now, if you're wondering what both of those membership fees cover, they're to maintain GPS services and cellular data, as well as creating, editing, and using the wireless dog fences. Now onto setting up the collars. On their website, PetSafe says it takes one to two hours for setup. In our actual experience, it was way closer to two. It took a lot of quibbly troubleshooting, turning the collar on and off, restarting the app, redoing the steps, those types of things. But I'm happy to say we got there in the end. Compare this with the invisible fence, where the setup experience was an intense struggle. It took my team close to an hour and a half and we never really got it fully set up. It was buggy, it had loading problems, and the connection never really lined up. Can't even make this up. They may have the worst app I've ever used. Uh, now this is frozen. After uninstalling everything, reinstalling it, yeah, it's just, now it's just frozen. Ultimately, we had to get their customer service on the phone, and sadly, even that proved less helpful than we had hoped. They suggested we step outside while working on the GPS connections, but we did, and that didn't really help. Major red flags. Creating fences for the PetSafe Guardian with tracking was a little finicky. Every time we changed a setting, like when loading a fence to the collar or changing the correction settings, we'd have to do some minor troubleshooting. That meant turning the collar off and on, restarting the app and reconnecting over Bluetooth. Yeah, definitely a little bit more connectivity issues than I'm used to, especially like needing to reboot and reconnect the collar after changing the static correction settings or uploading a new fence. You know, maybe that happens sometimes with the other collars, but it's definitely not an every time thing. We were able to make a fence, but the big thing that we noticed is that you only have the option to draw in a fence manually by tapping on a map in the app. You can't set the boundary by walking with the collar. By comparison, well, because we couldn't get the invisible fence to work, there is no comparison. There's a great irony here because the collar is identical to the PetSafe Guardian with tracking collar. They're both owned by the same parent company. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and suggest that the invisible fence would probably perform similarly to the PetSafe Guardian, if it worked properly, that is. We then did some field testing to see what product actually works the best. As we always do, we strapped the new Guardian with tracking on ourselves to test it in action. It was a little hard to judge the accuracy of the boundary because we're drawing it in rather than walking it. There is some boundary drift, but of course you'll experience this with even the best GPS fence technologies. The other thing we observed in testing was that the boundary feedback just consists of an alert prior to advancing to correction. Now, as I said, we couldn't make heads or tails of the invisible fence, so we couldn't field test it. I guess for now we can say that their fence is so invisible, it isn't there. But now that some time has passed since product launch, we'll be giving that another try. Stay tuned for that. There are a couple of other considerations that I wanna quickly mention. Both collars claim to provide up to 48 hours of battery life, which is a paw up on other GPS fences out there. 
We contacted Invisible Fences customer support because we wanted to return our purchase, but sadly, after reaching out to them three different times over a few days and even emailing them via their support page, we never heard back. We did ultimately get them on the phone and settled our return, but wow, it should never have taken that long. So to sum things up, the PetSafe Guardian with tracking is a bit cheaper and generally the product seems a little bit further down the line. The invisible fence, however, was a bit of a disappointment in our first round of testing. For the price and for the brand's longevity in this space, we were really hoping for a showstopper. Again, we'll be revisiting their next iteration soon. But for now, of the two, we're going with the PetSafe Guardian with tracking. Don't forget to click the links in the video description to get a discount on your doggy's GPS fence collar. I'll leave some helpful videos playing for you. And until next time, dog lovers, keep those tails wagging.